In this video, I want to give you 10 Clash of Clans tips to help you get the 3 stars. Irrespective of whether you are a beginner or an advanced player, this video will be helpful because I want to give you tips to improve your own gameplay. How do you become the best possible player you can, stand out in your clan and be one of the best? So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. In this one, I give you a wide variety of tips to help you improve your own gameplay. And that's what I always try and do on the channel, bring you educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. So if that is the type of content you want to see, I'd recommend subscribing and you can also help to support me in game by using code Judo before making any purchases. But let's get into my first tip. So my first tip for you is pretty much what you should always begin with, planning. Now I've sat down, I have written my top 10 tips because I really tried to think outside of the box with this one as well, guys. Not just what you guys need to know in terms of an attack, I've got a lot of other videos for that, but what are the ins and outs that really make a good Clash of Clans attacker that many people might not have thought of? And planning is something that is often overlooked. In terms of a war attack, I think that's when a lot of people do a little bit more in-depth planning planning, but you should be planning multiplayer attacks, clan war league attacks, friendly challenges, always trying to push the boundaries to make you think harder in order to improve your thought process. Now a lot of the time what I try and do is I will look at the base and see if there's any weaknesses. Can you easily get to the town hall on the outside of the base? Maybe a bit of a suey entry is good for that. Do you have ideal pathing? Maybe there's air defense at the corner of the base that you can easily pick off. You, look, you need to look at the base's weakness and try and think of the troop strength to go against that. You might also think of your favorite strategy, maybe you're a hybrid player, maybe you are a dragon attacker, whatever your strategy, can you find a base that actually suits that attack? Now that nicely brings us into tip number two, which is to set up your attack. So we can see in this one a drag bat really planning out minimal splash to one area of the base, being able to utilize the dragons and the bats in unison, but it all started off with a suey entry to create pathing for the dragons and also to take down the town hall. So really think about what you can use in terms of phases for your attack. Can you start with a Sui entry, a Queen Charge entry, a Kill Squad entry, and irrespective of the strategy you are using to finish off the base, you might be able to use things interchangeably. For example, we used a Sui entry to get the Town Hall and set up pathing here. That could be used for a Lava Loon, a Drag Bat, anything Similar with a Queen Charge, you could use that for Hog Riders, Lava Loon, Miners, Hybrid, anything. You can set up your attack in a way that makes sense and plan to finish off with a different method in order to help you get the three stars. This was a brilliant demonstration, but let's go to tip three. This one is the most important skill in Clash of Clans, funneling. Now I did a whole separate video on this very recently, it was called Funneling Explained. I will link you across to that video after this one, send you guys over there because it is a very valuable video. I put a lot of time into it and really it has to be on this list. Now towards the latter half of the list I will be covering a lot of things that you might not have thought of. That are not necessarily attack focused but I needed to have funneling on the top 10 list because it is the silver bullet of Clash of Clans. You have to get this right. So in this attack the Queen does not only take out dangerous defences, she's taken out the right hand side. Meanwhile the King and the Siege Barracks take down the left or the bottom area of the base for the hybrid to come straight through the middle to the Town Hall and to the defences. Now this occurs at any level. 
irrespective of what level you are in terms of town hall, you've got to set up the funnel for your troops to get into the base. And I would highly recommend that funneling video in order to help you perfect this. This tip sounds like a big one, but I'll try and break it down for you. It is learning the strengths and the weaknesses of every Clash of Clans troop. Now this expands into every spell, every building, but as a first and foremost, the most important is understanding the troops. For example, right here, just knowing that a 15 capacity ice golem could freeze the queen and defenses around it incredibly effectively really helped to get so much more value out of the Sui hero entry. Now you might notice that a lot of the tips in this video start to blend together and there's a reason for that because it's not just one tip and you're done, it really is a lot of things combined. But if you can start to customize the attack, really look at the base you're about to be going up against and use the troops to their advantage in certain areas of the base, you can really perform well and increase your chances of a three star. Now, I think that Clash of Clans does a phenomenal job of this because you don't automatically have all of the troops unlocked. You have to gradually unlock them and play through them as you move through the game and that means you get to know them, you get to know their strengths and weaknesses. Now if you do want quick fire videos with this, I have done a series, a tip for every Clash of Clans troop, a tip for every Clash of Clans spell, a tip for every Clash of Clans hero. I'd recommend them videos in order to really hone in your craft because when you really start to analyze bases, get a little bit deeper into that thought process. If you know the strengths and weaknesses of a troop, you know what you can use to your best success in certain areas to break it down and just increase your chances of a three star. Tip number five is to learn the meta. Now, what do we mean by that? The meta is what troops are the strongest within the game and therefore the ones that you should be trying to hone in on. What are the best troops and what are the worst troops? Now, this is also true in terms of base designs. Here at Golden X, we actually came up against this base multiple times in this one war. So we only needed one plan and we were able to three star it again and again and again. So you can learn popular bases internet bases they're often called because people grab the link off the internet they spread and become incredibly popular so if you are seeing a base again and again you should be trying to learn how to beat that base and often that is done with attacks within the meta the hybrid which is the hogs and the miners for town hall 13 is very much in the meta right now it is at its peak it is as strong as it has ever been and you might be asking me well that's all well and good judo but how do i know what troops are in the meta, how do I know what's strong and weak? This is where practice comes into play. Spoiler alert, I'll be getting into that a little bit later on in the video, but you should be practicing. Whenever there are balance changes, you should be looking at what troops have been tweaked in terms of their stats, and I want to now test that out. Can I use that as part of my strategy? Obviously, the other thing you can do is check out YouTube, my channel. There are a bunch of other great channels as well. Echo, Kenny Joe, Klaus, Bash, Itsu, Eric, Carbon, so many amazing Clash of Clans YouTubers. I know that I will have forgot some in that very quick fire list, but you get the idea, guys. Actually, what I would recommend is going to my channel homepage, and I have on the right hand side a list of other Clash of Clans YouTubers. Keep up to date with what is trending, if you will, and make sure you're honing in on them strategies for the best success. We now move to the latter half of the video, and this tip is learning to stay calm and adjust. Now, a lot of the tips moving on from here are a little bit more broad, so I will have replays in the background, but I will be sure to just talk over these tips because they are incredibly important, but they're not necessarily what you might have thought of. For example, perhaps you have left a building standing that was important as part of your funnel. Just having that recognition as the attack is going on and that greater awareness is important to be able to adjust mid-attack so 
such as this one sending in just that one baby dragon. Now it goes a lot deeper than this. Perhaps your attack really is not going to plan. Your queen walks around the base or you don't set up your funnel. Maybe you know that you can't get the three stars. You cannot panic and start flying in your troops. You have to stay calm. Adjust the plan. Make sure you can get the highest percentage possible. It might be that from your initial thoughts of where you would send in your troops, you have to adjust that. Send them in over the top of the town hall to at least guarantee the two stars, because in the Clan War Leagues or a Legend League attack, you do not want to miss the two stars. So it might be adjusting from the three star mentality to the two star mentality, but just know that as the attack develops, you need to be able to remain calm and adjust. It is highly important and it's something that sets the pro players apart from the rest in my opinion. Now piggybacking onto the side of that is analysing your attacks. Now this is obviously important if you do happen to fail or something goes wrong but even if you are successful if you get a three star just think about was there anything about that attack that i could have done differently perhaps your queen didn't get as much value why is that why was your plan different to the initial attack because this is where when you analyze your attack you will then start to learn from that and improve the people that will never improve improving Clash of Clans are the people that do not watch their attacks back and think about what they could have done differently. It's like anything in life. You need to think about your attacks and look at what you could have done differently and that will most certainly in the future lead to more three star success. Tip number eight may sound obvious and I am going to give you some advice on this but it is to practice. Now many people fall into the trap that they see an attack perhaps on YouTube, they go away, they try it once and they say, oh that didn't work, I tried it, it does not work, it's a poor attack, when actually it just requires a lot of practice, it requires planning, understanding the meta, attacking the right base, the things we have discussed, however think about the good old saying of 10,000 hours in order to master a skill. Now I don't think it's that drastic in Clash of Clans, but you need to practice your attacks. You are going to get better when you consciously practice, not just randomly doing it, but analysing your attacks, looking at what you could have done differently and continuing to hone in on your skills from there. Now there's a many of ways you can do that. Obviously friendly challenge is the main one and you might practice certain parts of the attack. For example, you might hone in on a queen charge first. Forget about the rest. I actually did this myself. I used to practice just the queen charge in friendly challenge. I wouldn't care about the rest of the attack. I wanted the queen charge down and then when I was getting good at the queen charge, I transitioned and I started practicing more of the Lalo. So you don't have to practice practice everything at once, you can practice phases of the attack as well and that's how I would break it down. Try the entry first, try a larger entry, a big queen charge or a big kill squad. The reason I recommend that in terms of practicing is that can set up any attack, whether you want to use a hybrid, a lalo, whatever you can set it up as part of your kill squad and again that can be any town hall level practice a big kill squad and then you can work on the rest afterwards so friendly challenge is a big one also i would say just playing the game legend league multiplayer attacks anything that will help you practice and that leads me into another one of my tips number nine is enjoying clash of clans if you make this a chore and you try too hard you put too much pressure on yourself that you don't enjoy it then it's not going to be helpful for you you have to actually enjoy this, make it fun in order to get better. So you might want to alter how you do things, not just hone in on one attack, but maybe try a couple, maybe try different aspects, get involved with clan wars, clan games, try different areas, get a little bit more involved with your clan and the social side of things, because if you are enjoying the game, you're more likely to put more effort in and therefore leads to even better success. My final tip for you, tip number 10, is coordination. 
using your friends, your clan mates, getting feedback. It is Clash of Clans. Use your clan mates. Many people will do this on voice, on a external app, for example, and just talk to each other, get involved, get feedback. Ask your clan mates when you have a plan set for a war attack. What do you think of this? Is there anything you would change? Maybe if you fail on the attack and you are analyzing it, again, ask your clan mates. What do you think you could have done differently? And do the same for their attacks. What this does is helps to increase your enjoyment, your involvement, social interaction, and it also helps you with practicing, with analyzing, adjusting your attacks. And it really is the core aspect of Clash of Clans, the social aspects, the clan interaction, Action, working together as a team because it really is a team effort and that is why I wanted to save that tip until the end in terms of clashing with your clan being involved with them winning the clan wars as a team working together to help your individual success so I hope that video has been helpful I really tried to think of the 10 tips that would help you improve your gameplay and stuff you might not have thought of the number one thing though that you have to learn in game is funneling. I've linked the video there. I put a lot of effort into that video, so I'm sure it will help most of you out. The subscribe button is also there, but I will see you across in the funneling video. However, until next time, peace out.